can you really prevent tuberculosis? Is it possible to actually control tuberculosis? It's a million dollar question in the sense that patients have been asking this question for decades. Doctors have been asking this question for decades. There is a vaccine. It's called the BCG vaccine. People thought that it would really cure tuberculosis. Unfortunately, it has not been the case. However, the good news is that there are some subsets, like some young children, for example, who may be protected from tuberculosis because of the vaccine. But there is huge amount of work going on around the world to really diagnose and treat TB in a very rapid fashion. There have been experimental trials in other countries where they're trying to treat TB within three months, for example. There are tests going on to see if a new kind of a vaccine, which targets some of the very specific proteins in the TB bacteria, can actually create a vaccine. There is some hope based on some recent research that we can actually take care of tuberculosis with something like a vaccine. The future does involve a lot of other things, though, to treat TB. You do need to improve the socioeconomic status of the world. People who do not have adequate nutrition are prone to more TB. Now, can you get TB again a second time around? Yes, you could. If your immunity drops or if you were already affected by the TB bacteria but did not take complete therapy, you can get TB back. It's important to have a very high index of suspicion if somebody has a low immunity. This might be somebody with a disease like HIV or AIDS, or it might even be somebody who's immunosuppressed because of steroid therapy for a rheumatologic problem like rheumatoid arthritis or asthma, or even something like an organ transplantation. When you are dealing with somebody with tuberculosis, it's important for us to be compassionate because the treatment is long, it is not really painful, but people can get side effects from the medications. The meds can sometimes affect the liver, it can affect the joints, and you can have some difficulty in treating tuberculosis, and you have to adjust the doses and the kinds of medications that you use. We've gone over the spectrum of TB. We talked about what to do with patients who have TB. We talked about how to prevent it. We've talked about special situations of patients who have a low immunity. We've also talked about managing TB in a different circumstance where there is resistance to the bacteria. I think it's important that we do our best to try to manage tuberculosis by completely addressing the main issues of early diagnosis. If you can diagnose TB in a very early fashion, the treatment can be adequate. It's important that you go to the correct type of specialist. There are several sources within India and around the world to actually manage tuberculosis in a very efficient way if you can actually get the diagnosis quickly. There are places around this country where there are experts for TB who are global experts for TB. There are places where there is research going on which actually will impact how TB is managed in the next 10, 20, 30 years. In the olden days, there used to be something called TB sanatoria where people would go and really live out their lives. The old name for TB is something called consumption. If you read old English literature and novels, you'll come across the word consumption because it was actually diagnosed in the United Kingdom and Britain a long time ago where patients completely get consumed by TB and they die from it. The mortality from TB is real. People still die in 2018 and the future from TB. People who end up in the intensive care unit with tuberculosis have a high chance of not making it out, unfortunately. How do we handle this? I think it's going to take a group effort. As a group, as a team, we're going to need funds to make sure that people who cannot afford TB medications or do not have adequate access to resources such as quick lab testing or x-ray equipment or CT scans get what they need. We also need a cooperation between the government and its partners and private practice to make sure that tuberculosis is handled. As a practitioner of pulmonary and critical care, I have seen the spectrum of TB. I have seen how it devastates lives. But I have also seen that if you can pick it up early, treat it correctly, there is a solution in place. I think as partners in managing health, let us work together to eliminate TB and end TB together. Thank you.